Look, let me try to make this clear for you guys. Liverpool v, v everybody. The Mane Salah debate as a, as, a, as a Liverpool fan really doesn't need to be a debate. It just doesn't. That's more for neutrals, fans of other teams, football aficionados, YouTube football fans, whatever the case may be. I have my own opinion on it, but I'm not here to talk about who's better. What I'm here to do is make it clear and analyze the idea um, or, or why people maybe side with Mane and what Mane offers that Salah doesn't. Now, again, being a Liverpool fan, I, I value them both. And I think they both will help Liverpool reach higher heights and accomplish goals this season. They've, they've done that already. Here's my thing with Mane. He's so damn unpredictable. He's a nightmare. And if I had to choose, you know, knock on wood, God forbid we have to lose any of them next season, um, or the season after that, to be honest, I value them both. If I had to choose, they'd be Salah. Mane is so unpredictable. We know about his pace. We know about his, his, his physicality, his strength. What he doesn't get enough credit for is the stuff he does off the ball. I'm not a big stat man, more of the eye test, but sometimes stats help make clearer the effect a player has in a game or for a team. This guy had 17 duels against Southampton, won nine of them. I'm going to say it again. Sadio Mane, an attacking player, 17 duels, won nine. Who else is doing that? I'm just saying. The next best on the team was, I think, uh, Genie, and he had maybe nine, nine duels altogether, maybe one, somewhere between four or five of them, maybe even three. But the guy Mane does so much, and he does so much in big moments, in big games. Yes, the Southampton goal and, uh, and, uh, and the work he did for the second goal that Firmino got, that was a big game and a big moment. And it was such a big game and a big moment because one, it's Southampton. Those games can always be tricky. Don't, don't, let's not forget that. Two, what happened in midweek, the travel, the heat, the two hours played, um, guys going down with cramps. I mean, so many different reasons as to why we could have put out a weak performance. And the first half was pretty much weak. But, but who steps up to get the goal? A goal we much needed to go into halftime to give us a little bit of confidence. Let's be real. It didn't really look like we were going to get anything out of the game in the first half. It didn't, to me. I shouldn't say get anything out of the game. It didn't look like we get a goal in that first half. But there's Sadio Mane, big game. Super Cup, two goals. I mean, need I say more? The dude Mane is just improving season upon season under club. Everything that happened in the summertime, his country, pretty much leading his country to the final, not getting the result that he would have wanted. He's a hungry dude, man. From where he came from, even think of the games when he was at Southampton that he played against us. He was always probably their best player and the biggest headache for us. The kid Mane is just unbelievable. And I think at the end of this season, I think we can really, really seriously have a conversation on Mane being in the top five all-time players, all, not all-time players, top five players in, in, in the world, in Europe. I mean, the guy is just incredible. Again, the stuff he does off the ball, the, the, and, and, and that's the thing. Salah is one of them dudes that he'll do that every now and then. He'll join in for the fun with the, with the, the, the press and the stress and the hurrying, but not where, nowhere nearly as much as Mane. And again, this is a winger doing that kind of work. So the guy is just unbelievable. I mean, that shot is a shot very much reminiscent to what people wanted or felt like we're missing from Coutinho. And the guy Mane just keeps coming up and he's already getting off um, goal scoring wise to a, to a great start. I mean, he, he's just a phenomenal talent and I'm so fortunate that we have him and I really hope that we can hold on to him um, for a bit longer, whatever that means. Um, but yeah, as good as Salah is, and as much as you can count on him over a whole season getting a, a double-digit goals, 20 or more, I think he'll get 20 or more again this season. To me, he's just not that, um, he doesn't have that extra something that Mane has, I guess is what I'll say. And that's just my opinion. I'm not knocking him. I'm not saying that he's um, not as good as Mane at all. I think they're both good and they both offer different things, but for me, when the money is on the line, Mane is just that dude, man. Mane is just that dude. And again, Salah did some decent things in that game, did some decent things in the Super Cup. But literally without Mane, we wouldn't have got those two results. And I don't think anybody can really argue that. So you got to just call it like it is. There's, there's really no other way to really argue where it stands right now. Mane is slightly just a, 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 a different player. But the, I, I'm, I'm, notice I'm hesitating to say better because I don't want to even make it about that. 
but he's just doing things right now that are very, very much so important to our team. And I think when you think about the cornerstones of the team, you think about the, the, the backbone of the team, the spine of the team, of course you think Allison, Van Dyke, and the midfield, Fabinho, and then for me, I think it's Mane. You know, as important as all three of them are, Mane is just that dude. And I think there's a love affair with Salah for all the reasons that you understand. Egypt, Egyptian king, doing what he did for his country, um, doing what he did for Liverpool, breaking records. But again, for me, that was then, this is now. And, and, and he's taken up that blistering form he's had last season into this one. And it's something that, again, defenses are terrified by. Salah's will, but Mane is just that dude. And you gotta give it up to him. You gotta give it up to him. So that's me, I'm Mane, Salah breakdown. And I think that's where you get the ones who are in the Mane camp, those are the reasons. It's not even, a, it's, it's obvious that Salah is a lethal goal scorer. And when he's in the mood, in the zone, we've seen it, what he's done to teams, we've seen it. But in key moments and big time games of late, of late meaning last season, onto this one. Think about all that stretch of time where Mane was a dude stepping up. He's, he's the, the, the guy Mane is just, seems to be a proven season upon the season. With, with Salah, he's doing well each season he's been at Liverpool, but his numbers have definitely declined. And that's not a knock. No one's gonna, no, 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 and, and that's harsh because no one's gonna replicate what he did that one season. That's just hard. But his number, the numbers have gone down. And again, that's a very high ceiling. And I think that's what Salah's always going for. And I think that might be what kind of gets him in some trouble sometimes. Anyway, that's me for now. I think I'm done on making videos. I've done the Ox, done the Mane Salah, done the VAR. I'm gonna finish work, get some damn liquids up in me because it's hot as hell out here. Go to a bar, get a couple beers and watch United vs. Wolves. I love you all. Take care.